Hello there! If you don't have Little War on PC, then you are most likely wondering if it has a player base. Uh, today I will go over all the details to see if this game still holds up to the test of time. Let us start with Campaign and Zombies. The campaign is still as fun and brutal as ever, and all of the zombie maps are unlocked as you get the DLC for free. Now, let's get down to co-op. Most people will have issues finding a game, as you need to have an open NAT type to host. There are only a few servers not playing a custom map. If you're lucky to have an open NAT type, then you should have people join in in seconds. If not, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube to open your NAT. One thing I should mention is that the max ping setting is broken and crashes your game. You can fix this by changing it to zero once the lobby is full. Once you get into a game, it's super fun, especially with other players, although you don't really need other players to play these zombie maps. Just be prepared for uh, when players inevitably quit because they die out. Multiplayer. If you want to find a game that's not hardcore tactical crouch, then uh, there aren't a whole lot to choose from. There's still a few servers kicking about, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty dead. I should mention that most of the servers have uh, upwards of 64 players, so be ready to be blown up by a million grenades and bouncing buddies. Also, some of the servers have uh, extra XP, so you don't really have to worry about leveling up again. One last thing though, um, the multiplayer has a lot of European servers, but not so many in the US, so if you're in the UK or something, then you should be okay, but uh, if you're in the US, you're, you're gonna have a bad time. There's like one server in the US. So in conclusion, does Call of Duty World of War have a huge player base? The short answer is no, but the long answer is maybe? Uh, if you buy the game on Steam or the PC on disc, um, then you have access to nearly unlimited custom maps. There are plenty of people on the Steam forums wanting to play custom maps with you too. So, should you buy it? In my opinion, yes. For $20, you get the game and all the DLC plus the aforementioned custom maps you can download. So get out there, make some friends, and make World at War great again.